My colleagues and I remain squarely focused on our dual mandate to promote maximum employment and stable prices for the American people. Inflation ticked up to a 2.5 percent rate in February. That's a rise in one-tenth of a percentage point from the previous reading. The latest findings from the Bureau of Economic Analysis is unwelcome news for President Joe Biden and the Federal Reserve. The Fed's target is 2 percent inflation in the Personal Consumption Expenditures, PCE, index. From January to February, inflation rose 0.3 percent, which is slightly less than expected. While inflation is slowing in many sectors, prices aren't necessarily decreasing at proportionate rate either. Core PCE, a measure of inflation that strips out volatile energy and food prices, remained at a 2.8 percent year-over-year rate. I think paying attention to various prices and carefully thinking about uh, what you're purchasing and why uh, is uh, good financial practice, but it's also uh, good practice for uh, protecting yourself against inflation. This latest report follows two other inflation reports for February, both of which showed inflation rising. The biggest question for many economists heading into 2024 was when the Fed would begin cutting rates, something investors have been hoping will happen soon since rate cuts often boost markets. The notion of six cuts appears very unlikely, with the median Fed official now expecting three and other officials expecting just two. Another positive sign for the economy is consumer sentiment rose in March to the highest level in more than two years, and expectations for inflation fell.